Kids Technology Marketplace featured new innovations that enable 21st century kids to learn and play smarter than ever. Lani Valdecantos files this report. Hi everyone, we're here at CES 2017 and we're excited to check out the exciting technology to educate and entertain our children. So let's go check it out. Educational and children-focused technologies are a big industry, so I wasn't surprised to find them in various places at CES. One of my favorite finds was the Buddy Phones. This is the product, it's the in-flight Buddy Phones that we have won the CES award. So the special feature of this product is the super bendability, super bendable, and also the three volume control that allow parents to control the safest volume for the kids at different times. My favorite option is when I'm driving, I have two screaming kids at the back, iPad, and we have a pen product is our sharing capability. You can share up to four kids at the same time, so they can share to an iPad, two kids can watch the video, and I can have a sane sanity drive to work. So we're voted one of the best, uh, safest kids headphones from New York Times. And so we keep our uh, safe sound at 85 decibel, but this allows you to go up a little bit higher for airplane now loud noise situation. And so that's definitely very key, important. We want to make sure that when parents buy it, it's approved by parents and it's enjoyed by kids. The sticker sets is um, a special illustrator that we hire from Iceland, and he do, does a lot of illustration for different networks. So, and then the kids panel that we have, select the final. So we make sure the design is great for kids and they would love it. And the color coordination is everything is about the kids. The cushion is uh, hypoallergenic. So every little single detail that comes out of the design is all for the kids. Now full line is on Amazon and in May will be at Target. Our next find I liked because it allows you to use your iPad to teach your young child how to read while they're at play. This is the Square Panda Phonics playset. It's a multi-sensory playset with smart letters that interact with a playset tray and links up to the blue via Bluetooth with uh, an iPad or an Android tablet. It allows children to explore and learn phonics so that they can be better and more fluent readers. In this game, this uh, chameleon is very good at pronouncing things, so anything that goes into the tray, any letter that's placed in the tray, appears and comes to life on screen. And he's, I'm gonna go ahead and tap on his belly, he's gonna chew it out, spit it out, and then pronounce it for us. And he's very smart, and if he knows the word, and he knows thousands of words, he can even show you a picture of it. He'll do a little happy dance and change colors and, and uh, provide encouragement for the kids to continue. With multi-sensory learning, research suggests that the more sensations you engage, hearing, uh, uh, visual, tactile, the more sticky the content is and the more likely the child is to remember the content. CES has been a wonderful experience. We've had a lot of feedback from parents, teachers, librarians, and the, the feedback has been phenomenal. Everyone's saying that this is the place that, this is the toy that they would have loved to have when they were growing up or when their children was, were young. So we're very happy that it's available and uh, ready for children to play with. You can find us on Amazon and on our website, squarepanda.com. There's so much to see at CES that it's actually hard to narrow down our list of favorites until I came to this booth. So we sell smart piano here. That's a piano that can teach people how to play within a few minutes by lighting up the keyboard and working with your mobile app. The problem we're trying to solve here actually is our founder's own problem. So he was trying to get his little boy at home to start learning piano, at least you know, get to understand a little bit of music. And the, you know, he spent thousands of dollars. Little boy doesn't like it. Whenever he you know finishes the class, come back home, never practice. I'm always playing with iPad. So Ben, uh, the founder as you know, engineer himself, is trying to think about how can I make this work together? Use iPad, I've had my boy still, you know, start playing piano. And after 13 different pilots, he, he got uh, this model start working. And it's never too late or too early to start learning some music. It's fun, it's easy. Just you know, 
five hours. Another skill difficult to learn but was presented in many different toys and gadgets was coding. There were games, puzzles, and robots showcased as ways to tempt children of all ages to start learning to write code. One of the most unique was this drone by Robolink. We have this uh, drone. This is the first word, uh, first in the world that's uh, programmable and educational. And uh, we are selling this drone called CoDrone Life. And students can learn how to do coding while they are having fun with this drone. We're teaching students how to program with this drone because uh, there's a lot of different solutions for programming. But when we do use this fun and physical uh, drone that flies, students get very engaged. And that we want to teach students how to do programming because it teaches them how to think. We recommend this for age 10 and above, and they have tremendous fun with this. Right now we are selling this on Amazon, and this is number one uh, on our category, number one seller on our category. From CES 2017, I'm Lonnie Baldicantos, and I am one with 25.